in the last video we talked about machine learning model flowchart basically depicting how to write a machine learning algorithm in this video we're going to talk about linear regression in a very layman terms and how to write a linear regression algorithm but before doing that let's take a look at the data so the data is very simple you have area which is your feature and price is my predicted value my target value so based on the area I want to predict the price now let's unhide a column over here and you would see that I have written a calculation so 400 this area multiplied by 199.5 plus a constant value of 1574 and if you look at it this is what I have written all across the place the reason I have done that is because I wanted to keep a very simple data set which will be linear so very linear data set so I'll just show you one more time what I have done is I said area multiplied by 199.5 which is the coefficient and intercept is 1574 so area multiplied by 199.5 and addition 1574 a constant now let's look so what we do is we plot area as x-axis and we will plot price as y-axis so we plotted so this is area and price and please note that the plot is very linear and straight line because I had constant coefficient which is 199.5 and a const, uh, constant variable which is intercept 1574 so if you remember the slope of the line y equals to mx plus c now as per the model flowchart I'm going to split the data as train and if you look at it this is the training data set if you look at it some of the points are now missing here where are they because they are now as test so if you look at it I split the data area data and I'm going to show you how to do that in Python in the next video but what I did was this linear data set I split into two parts train and test I'm going to use my train data set to train a model and then I'm going to use my test data set to see if the model works so I'm going to use LR which is I'm just denoting as linear regression dot fit fit is the keyword which I would say that train my model with my X data set X train now see here this is X but I am saying X train because the training data set for the X axis which is area and Y is my predicted price so not predicted price but the price for training so the value of price in the train data set and the value of area in the train data set I'm going to train my model once the model is trained it's going to give you remember 199.x 5.5x multi plus 1574 and this you will see in the next video how the Python code is giving you intercept and coefficient so once you train the model now you have to test the model right I mean to test the model you would say lr.predict so lr.predict and predict is the keyword so please note that based on this equation I am going to predict the y values for test data set so if you look at it I have written x text use the x values of test and predict based on this equation so x underscore test value so for example let's say this this value which is around 900 or something so 199.5 multiplied by 900 plus 1574 would be the value y predicted and then I have the y test I have the y predicted let's compare it so this graph shows me the predicted value of y plotted 
alongside the train variable. Please note that this train variable now has all the gaps filled because my model was able to accurately predict. No error. The reason it is no error because it's a very simple linear equation. And this data set is available on the Google Drive link, which is mentioned in the video below, uh, video description section below. And comparison, comparison of Y test and Y predicted will give me the error. I'm going to talk about error also in my next videos. Now, let's implement the same concept in Python. And please note that the screenshot which I have put over here are directly coming in from the Python code, which I've already written for you. So let, let's look at the next, next video and implement it the same thing. Again, one more time, the, the main data set divided into train and test. Trained, using the train data set, I'm going to use fit as the keyword to get this equation and then predict whether this is working or not. The comparison of y test and y predict will, will give me the error value. Let's rock it.